Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and today we are back at LPQ. No, I am not gonna try to pronounce that again. If you want, here's some footage of me trying to pronounce it last time. Le pan de quotidien. I don't know. Le pan quotidien. Le pan quotidien. Yeah, we're going to that place. Why, you might ask? Because they have a lot more vegan options than the one we tried last time. So I've decided we're gonna go back and try a few more things. I enjoyed the first thing so much that, I mean, the rest has to be good, doesn't it? We're on the corner of Broad and Bridge and we're about to try more of LPQ's new vegan menu. Now, I thought the first location I went to was adorable, but now that I've seen this one, mmm. Their branding? On point, like this is the bathroom area. What the frick? Like how adorable is this place? Anyway, I just wanted to show you the inside really quick, but we're gonna be filming outside for like lighting and noise reasons. So let's head out to the outside area. Let me tell you guys what I ordered. Number one, I got the just egg frittata again, this time without a crust, the way it's supposed to be made. Don't know why I had a crust last time. Um, if you need a refresher, the Just Egg Frittata has roasted butternut squash, broccoli, caramelized onions, almond milk, and Just Egg, and it comes with a side salad. And then I got the crispy quinoa cake right there. It has arugula, beetroot hummus, chickpea salad, tomato, and basil oil. As far as I can tell, the quinoa cake is kind of like, oh, what's that thing made with like corn? Oh, dang it. What is that thing made with corn? And then like you slice it and then you fry it. I'm having a huge brain fart. What? You guys know what I mean. If you know what I mean, comment it down below. You know, it's like it comes in a tube sometimes and then you slice it up and then you fry it on both sides and it's made out of corn. Comment it down below, you know what it is. So it looks like that except with quinoa. And then I got this, which I'm really, really curious about. It is a, right here, it's a tartine. It's the roasted delicata squash tartine with vegan scallion cashew cheese. It's from Treeline. Uh, spiced pecans, cucumber, and arugula. Oh, and I got a pumpkin latte ah, with almond milk and it has pumpkin puree in it. So I'm super duper excited to dig in. Let's do a little latte taste test while it's still warm. Ooh, it tastes like pie. They also have an option to, to get this with oat milk, but I'm usually not a fan of oat milk, um, so I got almond. But if you like oat, I feel like the oat would make it even thicker. Mmm. All right, guys, so here's the food. We have the crispy quinoa cake with beetroot hummus, a chickpea salad, and some arugula. And then we have our just egg frittata, which I'm so excited to eat again, with a side salad. And this beauty right here, which is basically an open-faced sandwich with some tree-lined cheese and toppings. So let's get to tasting. I think I'm most curious about the, I'm saying open-faced sandwich or toast, but I mean, the fancy word is Tartine. Tartine. I'm fancy. I don't eat toast. I eat tartines. Tartine. <laughs> Sorry. I can't help it. All right. So this tartine has toasty bread and then some scallion tree line cheese, some caramelized pecans, cucumbers, squash, arugula, and I think it's like drizzled with a bit of olive oil. Let's do this. Mmm. 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 You know, I never would have put squash on toast. You'd think that'd be weird, but you'd be mistaken because this is delightful. And you'd think that since I don't like sweet and savory usually, the squash plus caramelized pecans would be weird, but I still like it. I really like it. Mmm. This gets a 9.5 out of 10. The pumpkin latte gets a 7.5 out of 10. Off to a great start. No, I'll give the pumpkin latte an 8. On with the show. This crispy quinoa. Oh my god, I still can't remember. What is it called? The corn... Mm. As you can tell, there's two little pieces. Not little, I mean they're big pieces. But they have like different toppings on them. So this one has a sort of pesto and this one has a tomato-y thing on it. I think it's tomato or like red pepper. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to try both. I'm going to start with pesto because pesto is delicious. You know, I didn't expect that to be creamy. Oh, that's good. Oh, I need to learn how to make this. So there's corn inside it, by the way. I'll show you a, a little cross section. You can't see the corn in this one, but. 
that is how that looks like. And I don't know what they put in it to make it so creamy, but that is so good. All right, I'm gonna try the one with the red topping. More tangy, different, equally delicious. I'm gonna hold off on rating the whole plate until I obviously try the other two things on the plate, but the quinoa cake gets a 10 out of 10. This is delicious. All right, I'm gonna try the beet hummus. Tastes good. Tastes like a beet hummus. You don't actually taste the beet like that much. Eight out of 10, nothing wrong with it. And a chickpea salad with tomatoes. Oops, well I came this close to dropping chickpeas in my pumpkin latte. All right, so this is, I will take a bite before it all falls onto the floor. I just wanna show you a close up, god damn it. <laughs> if I showed you how much chickpea salad is not on my plate right now, come on. We, there we go, no, there we, no. All right, there we go, there we go. I really hope you appreciated that mediocre shot of this salad. Mm. The salad didn't taste like much, not gonna lie. I love chickpeas, but I don't think there's anything on this. It just tastes like chopped up tomatoes and chickpeas and cucumber. I mean, if you ate it with the hummus and the arugula, like so, good, but don't eat it alone. The quinoa cake gets a 10 out of 10. The whole plate gets an eight out of 10. And now the final thing. The thing that brought us here to begin with, our just egg frittata, right there. I'm just gonna go all in with a big old bite. So good. LPQ makes me like squash. I don't hate squash, I'm just not generally a fan. But I've eaten squash twice right now, and both times I'm like, yes, give me more squash. Who am I? I already rated this in my last video, but I would still give it a 10 out of 10. So good. Again, how in the hell did I ever grow up in New York City and never eat here? This is different than last time. They put anise in the salad. I love anise. Anise is like the root that they make licorice out of, but it doesn't taste like licorice. Don't, don't think it tastes like licorice. My final thoughts. Honestly, it hasn't changed that much since last time. I'm still a pretty big fan of the brand and I'm a big fan of the food. The prices aren't the cheapest, so like go into that knowing that. Um, actually, you know what? I can give you the prices for everything right now. The tartine was $10.99. The crispy quinoa cake was $12.99, and the egg frittata is $11.99. It's not expensive or anything, like given the quality of the food that you're getting, but I always like to give prices when I eat at places so people know what they're getting into when they go. And all the vegan options are very clearly marked. With this little carrot right here, you see like carrot, carrot, carrot. I love that. We love a clearly marked menu. Uh, yeah, I definitely still recommend. Uh, I know there's a bunch of LPQs in New York City. I think they're in like other states too, but I'm not quite sure. You can always look that up online. And if you do get to try any of these things, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if there's anything you like here that I haven't tried so I can come back and try it. And yeah. I think my favorite thing was surprisingly the crispy quinoa cakes because those like totally came out of left field and I was like, boom, you didn't know you can like quinoa so much. <laughs> so that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is it for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to my bodega babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Ellen, Michelle Johnson, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, and Emily Blaine. But don't forget, we have Juanita, Charlotte, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, Curtis, Judith, Clarissa, and Michelle Vasquez. You guys are the best, and these videos are made possible with your support.